Welcome to the Researcher YouTube channel. My name is Jorge and in this video I will introduce you to the keywords inner and outer. Let's go ahead and start by creating two models, brick and fill. For the brick model I will add a shape for the animations like I have done in previous videos. For this example I will add a couple of components from the Modelica Translational Library. A force source and a mass with stop and friction. We will change the parameters of the mass to 1 kg, 0 for the velocity dependent friction, 10 for the Coulomb force and zero for the Strebeck effect to try to keep it as simple as possible. The force and the mass need to be connected so the force is applied to the mass. Now go to the text view and the force component has an input that we will define using an equation here. With this equation, we will apply 15 newtons to the mass. Now, since the translational library doesn't have animations, we will use the shape to see how the mass is moving. We will give some volume to our brick, and for the position vector, we need to follow the position of the mass. For doing so, we need to write the name of the component dot the name of the variable s in this case, which represents the position of the mass, and then zero for the other two components of the position vector. We can validate now and see that we have the same number of equations and variables. Let's go ahead and simulate this model. We can see that our brick is moving. You can explore all the variables inside the mass component if you want to get familiar with it. Now, we will add some limits to the mass. Simulate again to see what happens. Now, the mass stops when it reaches 1 meter, because we have defined our limit there, something like an invisible wall. Now, go to the field model. In the text view, we will define an inner variable called field and in the equation section we will give it a value you can validate and see with that we have one equation and one variable now if you go to the diagram view you can add our model of the brick We want to use the field variable that we define as the force that needs applied to the brick. To be able to see that outer force field, we need to define an additional variable. validate you can see that we are missing one equation this equation will come from the outer variable that we have defined and it's available as inner in the field model if you validate you see that our model has the same number of equations and variables 
simulate now to see what happens. We can see that our bus accelerates and stops at the invisible limit. You can try this by yourself by changing the value of the field variable. Thank you so much for watching and see you in future videos.